Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for I'm actually in a thunderstorm at the moment but doesn't matter not important. What we're going to do today is we're going to set up the um some mob spawners. And with those mob spawners we're going to um control them. So let's get started. First thing I've I've done is I've removed all of the uh, sugar cane. Let's have a quick look at that. As you can see it's all gone. In fact I moved it and I set a simple a very simple observer based system over here to push to break the to break them when they come up i think i was trying to do all sorts of different ways and you know, we get some oh, wrong place <laughs> to get a bit closer and you see we get some stuff now i've just been going to be about tacked <laughs> i heard him right where are they i can't see them oh he's up there of course it's thunderstorm so they i'm going to get oh, tell you what let's get behind a tree and they've got less chance to get me Oh, yes, good. I'll be able to get them with the Captured Dream Sword if you can't get away. Right, one gone. So what I can do with this is, one of the things I want to demonstrate, this is going to... I can't get him. Ah, right, I got him twice then, actually. Ooh, that was a big flash of white, whatever that was. Right, sorry. <laughs> Phantoms. I've got quite a few phantom brains already. Got over a stack now. Where did the other one go to? Oh, there he is. So you see, my health has gone down a little bit. Not too bad. So now, when we eat, because of this charm we've got in the, the gluttony charm, just right click it. Oh, it just immediately fills you up. You see that saturation is at the top. So we've recovered very quickly. None of that choo 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 nonsense. Right. <laughs> well, yes, I was going to show you those. Yes, and the observer, and the observer, observers. I forgot now because I've got attacked, didn't I? And all these do is they grow up, and as they grow up, as we get here, you can see in here it just picks up stuff. It's a bit slow actually, but bamboo grows faster than uh, uh, sugar cane. So maybe I added a couple more in there. So the next one of these will detect. And at the back here, it's just um, I see. I should be able to. Why oh, can't I jump up? Because I've got my boots on. Oh, that's why they saw me. Okay. Right. Try again. <laughs> one, two, and then walk forward. Yes. So these observers have just got some resistance behind. So any one of them will trigger all of the pistons. It's just as simple as that. So next thing. Let's go and have a look at what we got downstairs. I'm not sure if it's night time or daytime, to be honest with you. I did set up a second mob spawner, a mob grinder from uh, in, uh, wrong place, from industrial foregoing, as you will see in a second as we go down here. So, but what I did is create this level down here like this. It's actually very dark in here; you can't see it because I've got uh, night vision on. So I created this one here and I powered it by a battery. So it does, batteries do have some uses, as you can see. These are still well charged. I'm not quite sure why the charge isn't 100% in that. And you'll see that the, that the meat from here is actually very large. It, it's gone up very fast and the, and the pink slime has only gone up a little bit. With farm animals, it's completely the other way around. So any mobs in here just get ground, so I don't need to worry about them. I'll just press F4 and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's dark in here. If I take my helmet off, it'll also, oh, you can do that as well. You can see it's actually dark in there as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put into here um, some lighting, first of all. And then we're going to put in a spawner. I should put my helmet back on again. Because I've tidied everything up in there a bit. And also in here, I've, I've actually put bothered to put in some storage request table. So I have simple storage networks going underneath here and behind these. My chest got completely full, the diamond chest with that uh, stuff. So I moved it out into some small um, things here with some, uh, what have I got on them? So I'll look, I've got the maximum watches. Um, <laughs> I can't remember. Storage got upgrade five from emeralds. So you've got plenty of emeralds, and they basically, it's also, I should also put in a void upgrade, but we'll do that later on. Plenty of stuff. So now I can make things, craft things from here. 
So what I wanted to do is I have got in here some, oh yes, I've got some redstone lamps, that's what I want. Not typing. So I've made 14 redstone lamps. So I want some redstone lamps, I want some levers, and I want some redstone. I think 64 redstone will be enough, and levers should be in one of these chests. I think I made a whole bunch of them. I think we'll make, we'll make another 32, so there's no harm in having a lot of levers as it happens. They're so cheap. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll just put up some lighting. This room, by the way, is it, I excavated at 2020. So I'll put a handle back on again now, so it's bright. And I think what we need to do is we need to come out about four blocks. One, two, three, four. I think is where we need to put the the first item. I also changed this and I've put mending on it. Can try and press shift, hold down shift right button now and it'll repair. So we get one, two, three, four. And we'll put F4 and we'll put this into place. And you'll see it's already lit up. Let's just remove these torches. I don't need these torches while I'm working down here particularly because the mob spawner will sort out any mobs that spawn anyway but we have an idea of lighting levels so if we just put a lever on top of this I probably need to make some redstone torch uh, repeaters as well but and turn it on you'll see that this is level 8 so that's fine so now we go along here that's level 8 how many blocks was that six i think we go by to the two would that be sensible because if i put one in here it would be nice the reason it'd be nice is it would be exactly four across as well and that would actually do the corner bit well it doesn't do any harm does it so let's put a torch let's put one of those down there and then put a, a lever on top of it i've got too much stuff in my hot bar let's just remove some out of the way So that goes right into that corner as well. So obviously we're not going to, it's one of these shapes because I didn't do an odd number, it's going to be a bit of a nuisance, but never mind, because it's exactly in the middle is this line here. So we'll put one in here anyway, so let's just do that. And put a lever on it, turn it on. So we're just really finding out where we've got to place the tor place the lanterns. So maybe I just plant one down here where it's got an eight. And for what I could also do, move this out of the way, is put some redstone between these two. It only has to be here. You don't have to go the whole way across. And that'll that'll light that one up. So let's go back over here now and we should take the same one. We'll take this eight over here. I might come back and do redo this in my own time. Uh, and this one as well. Like that. And then we'll come along here. We'll put the last one into this position here. It should be fine. It's a seven. It's a little on seven, but that's fine, I think. And the last one should be here. Yes, it'll be fine because it, because they can't spawn where the ladders are. Like like that. So as you can see now, the whole floor is lit up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to root redstone from the centre point here out. So let's just take it out here like this. Hit this one here. Get it out of the way. Put it, put some redstone on, and then just go across this way. Remove this. I don't know if this is going to reach it. Is yes, it's fine. Power five, that's good. And we can do the same over here. Like that. And those are lit up. And then of course we can just do the same. I can be out of here like this. And the last one, last couple over here. And 
just remove that that one and then just bring the redstone across down here I don't look like I don't need any um, repeaters for this because it's small enough to be illuminated by everything right good so now you can see everything's illuminated so what we now do of course we'll take this remote lever and shift right click it onto this one here like this one near enough yep so then it's right activated we can turn everything off everything's com just about completely dark there's probably a bit of light coming in from there as you can see there's a one two three over here so that is probably yes exactly underneath that chest and turn it on again so everything's lit up so mobs won't spawn in that case so right next thing I think last time we made um we're going to name this one as well and that's probably going to be the first thing we're going to do as it happened because with these remote levers if you don't name them you'll never know which one's which because they're all the same color they look all identical so let's come along here and give it a name so we'll say this one is um we'll call it remote lights i think and that'll do like that and of course we can activate that from anywhere the next thing we're going to do is i think i've got yes i've got three in here i've got a minecraft husk i went cleaning out finding a few things and a cave spider so the cave spider is the one i'm not really bothered about i don't think these have got redstone control on them yet no they haven't so what we're going to do with this unless i've already done it and i can't find the bit oh i must have done it because i had four where have i put those spawners i must have put them somewhere else because i oh here we go i knew i'd got them already set up i put them in the wrong place so one of these will be an enderman spawner great like that i'm also going to make some slabs <laughs> because i want to protect myself when i go grinding a few endermen which we're going to do today um because I want to do them manually. And the reason I want to do them manually is they want to get the um, the next thing from this. So what we've got there, that's not enough, six. Let's have a look. To 18 should be fine. So Enderman is here, requires redstone. Good. So I want a couple of blocks just to put down something easy. Maybe dirt is probably the easiest. Three pieces will be good because endermen are three men three pieces blocks high so we need to go up three blocks in order to do this so i'll probably want to stand around about this corner over here um let's do that let's just set up this area first of all so if i just put them on the bottom half of slabs here anyway they won't be able to get to me and we'll just do a little space in the middle here so that they definitely can't reach so if i'm standing here they can attack me from the side you need two each two on each side now they're not going to be able to get across this way maybe in here but i think not okay so we can we can grind in them from this position we'll so anyway we'll see maybe it doesn't work i want to turn this off now i don't think i can see a way to turn it off except for take this out <laughs> Yeah, that will do actually. I tried putting a lever on it. So we can put a, try putting a lever on this, like like that, and turning it off. It's still going round, so it doesn't. There's no redstone control on these machines, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just get this thing finished. So we'll put it above this, straight above this light here, like this. So it's three pieces of dirt. Two. Oops. Can't try again. Not jump properly, why not? Everything on. Ha! Huh. Just all right. I'll just do it this way. <laughs> I'm not jumping at all properly. What's going on? What? Oh, I've been pushed down from above. Oh yes, I could be. All right. Oh, okay, that's a bit of a shame. We'll just do it this way then. Yes, there's some. There's some. Com pushes up there and I can't get up ho I'll have to go and turn those off but that's no I don't want to do that anyway, but let's put a slab down here maybe we can get up through the slabs 
we can. Good. Right, I actually do need to go up to place, be able to place something on the top of that. I wonder if I can use slabs to do this. So I can get up here, no problem. And I need to put the spawner on top of this. I wonder if I can pill up using slabs. Maybe. Oh, yes, I can look. Great. So let's put the Enderman spawner down here. Like that. And then we can break this stuff away. That's no that's no issue. So that's no problem whatsoever. Let's get rid of those. So let's or excavate these out. Dirt. And then we can or excavate these slabs. And then we're down to the ground. So that's now in a good position. So when we put a torch, we'll put a lever on this and we'll activate the lever with another remote lever control, which I don't know what I brought with me. So that one's remote lights. So we need to have another one. Maybe I've got one in here. I can't rightly remember. If not, I just go and get one. Right, just have to go and get one. Won't take a second. Now there is somebody. Ah, I wonder if that's why the Enderman. I was testing this and I was wondering to myself why the Enderman don't teleport away when I'm attacking them. Uh, right, remote lever should be in here. Good. So the next one we're going to label this one as remote Enderman, I think. Or yes, we don't need the we don't need the names to be massively long. So let's put that one in remote lever. So we'll say Enderman. I think that'll do. We should take that out of there. So this one's bound, and this one's not bound to a lever in the world. So shift click to activate it remotely. I don't think that's right actually, thinking about it. Actually, I can turn off these light levels now as we're going down. So here we go. So now we just simply take this lever and shift right click it on the remote end. One, one, good, exactly. Shift right click it on this lever, and then we turn it on like that. You'll see it immediately and no one spawned. Where did you, oh, we got ground. Huh? Oh, I haven't taken this out yet. Okay. In fact, I don't need that mob grinder anymore. It was just there for some, some purposes. So. Oh, I need to turn off this, of course. Let's just turn off the lights. Oh, he's dropped down. Now, he should look at me. Well, I should be able to see him. Right, that's good. And then we just need to use our captive dream sword. I've got in this bag here some more bits and pieces. Oh, come on. Oh, what's wrong with him? Yeah, now he's coming to me. So health-wise, he's good. He's in a good place now. Is about four hearts now, five and a half, four and a half hearts. Let's just get out of this bag. One of these soul jars. Now I've got a soul jar with one end of it, yeah, one end of it already in it, and a solium dagger. And this is what we have to do to get to fill these up. So we just have to basically ground this enderman down. Like this. Okay, good. This guy can look at me as well. See, he's already seen me because he's hopping around a bit. <laughs> While that's doing that, I want to turn off the lights because there's only one Enderman spawning at a time. Let's just turn off these lights. I do need the dagger. Put that in the middle. Turn it off. The oh, yeah, it's coming now too. It's coming now for his... Oh, good. That's turned off the lights. So bring him down to around about four hearts of damage or something like this. Maybe one more. and Then I can easily kill him with a Solium dagger. And this one. <laughs> and of course they always come into this hole like this for their death and destruction one more three hits I think and then we should be oh it's two drop down this time get them get them excited at the same time and all we do is we keep doing this process all right half a heart I just need this last one to come over here. While it's doing that, I'll just turn off the end. Right, click that off so there's no more to do. Five hearts of damage and should be able to get him with two hits of the sodium dagger and that should be him sorted out. Right, good. So now we have six endermen in this jar. We've got to get four of these jars in order to do the, the seed. So. And what I'm going to do with these is 
this, these two are actually so I'll put in um what I'm going to do with those I'm going to put in some which is the next one I want to do the wither skeleton and maybe we've got already got a blaze spawner so we don't need to do anything like that so let's try that now wither skeletons will be slightly different they still won't be able to get to me I don't think because they're 2.4 blocks high let's go up here and set that up exactly the same process as I've done before we'll just do that we'll just do the weather skeleton bit first and, and then the rest I'll put in the comparator in my own time this is the weather skeletons uh, spawn egg uh, there's also a blaze spawn egg in here now obviously with blazes it's a little bit different <laughs> I would have to get some fire protection from them actually I've got a blaze spawner haven't I I'll do that in my own time I think let's just we'll just follow that through so next thing I want to put this down here but I need a comparator first of all so let's just make a comparator um, there we go I should be able to as so I can shift one of these into this now the problem here is when I take this out I want these ingredients but if I leave them in here if I clear that off what happens these go into some other place so what I'm intending to do is to do this like that I should can pick that one up and then if I want to make another one of these I just press the rust bin put it in a standard old crafting table and it'll make a second one like that so let's put down the next one of these I would like to use the case husk will save for another time as there aren't that many husks around here so I'll put that in here and the cave spiders as well I've said that already haven't I so let's get the egg out here and like that Let's put this case by the one down here like that. Let's just put it down. Right click it with that. It turns it off and then right click it with that. And now it's a wither skeleton spawner. So we just then break that with a, a silk touch pickaxe. And go and put this down. And it would probably need two more blocks. I'm just having a think here. What might be a sensible thing to do is just to get some slime balls. And makes three slime blocks out of this. I've actually got one already. So let's just halve that like that. Because you can always turn these back into slime into slime balls anyway. But I can put these and I can break them very easily without having to mess around too much. That's the reason I'm using these things. Obviously I need some more slabs to climb up again. <laughs> that was a bit of a disaster. And the reason for it is that the, I've got these pushers. Oh, I know what I could do, actually, thinking about it. Yes, I have some glass boots, I think. I haven't used them yet. Uh, maybe I haven't even made them, actually. So, the, the, um, let's have a look at that. I think it was called a... I've forgotten. One, one was called One Way. Oh, that is a sorted boots. Glass boots boots and what we need is two panes and two a glass and that will make some glass boots let's just get actually let's do that in here oh, I'm missing glass panes okay so I thought we've got some glass panes but maybe I've used them all up I ah, have why didn't they find those oh well that's the special glass panes let's just see it's this recipe isn't it Oh, no, that works fine. Interesting. So we can then put those on. And I think we should be able to jump. We won't be able to jump up two blocks with it, three blocks, but we should be able to jump up. Let's see if this works. I need another lever, of course. Here we go. In fact, I must have got another lever about somewhere else in a different place. Oh, look at all these mobs. <laughs> yes, yes. This is going to be a bit more challenging for me. Because <laughs> I've forgotten to do something. I've forgotten to turn the lights back on. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we'll have to sort out these. Uh, we'll have to do a bit of fighting remote lever. That's the remote lever. Well, this is the lights, isn't it? Let's just turn them on. That'll prevent anything else spawning. And here, look at these guys. I haven't got my... I haven't got my bow out. Why haven't I got my bow in town? 
Hang on, okay. Hey, they can come upstairs. I didn't know they could come upstairs. <laughs> now that's interesting. That must be new. Right. And there's a creeper there as well. Wow. It's going to take a few minutes. You know? But they won't be spawning anymore. That's a good thing about this. And of course we've got all these bats lying around now. Let's just get rid of them. Let's just put this back into here. Look, get rid of the bats. <laughs> there we go. They are very they are very annoying. I don't want that in there all the time. But my inventory is full. Oh, let's just get rid of let's just clear up some of my inventory. I can see it's full actually thinking about it. Let's use the large backpack. It's empty at the moment. We can put some things in here that we don't need because they're drops quite a lot of drops as it happens yes anything else in here that's a drop yes those and those are cool right okay everything's cleared up now so we're back to normal now i can take this one out i'll leave it in for the time being because we want to put beside this let's put it oh, i tell you what let's just put it beside it like this that'll make life a bit easier um with a skeleton spoiler. Ah, oh, well, that one off. Let's put this one down like that. Okay, good. So we just put the lever on top of that one. And then we need to get the remote lever working for this one. That's remote endermen remote lever. We have to rename this. We can do it in either either way around, it doesn't make any position any difference. So let's now come along here and see if this because they have 2.4 blocks high so they shouldn't be able to act, get me either now obviously you can't see me at the moment so what did he oh he walked straight to that okay yes i haven't taken that out now he's coming towards me good but he can't reach me. Great, fantastic. So I can I can do the same thing with him as well. And once maybe two hits is too many. <laughs> Let's just turn off the lights again and eat. This time there's two coming to me. That's good. Oh, of course they can see me now because I've got my boots on. Right now we just switch over to the. This I need probably need to get another soldier out of the bot out of the bag here. Let's just do that. Let's shove those in there as well. So I think I've got another soldier. I need I need quite a few of these. Oh, there's quite a few of these guys coming along now. Three hits for the one of those guys. With that, let's see. Right, that was working just fine. And they're coming straight to me. Perfect. One, two, three. A bit, a bit of knockback so that you can then get rid of them that way. I think that's a fairly decent uh, spawn, spawner setup, don't you? So, soldier 9, wait for another one and then we'll turn it off. I'm going to do this, and I'll probably what I'll do is I'll just carry on doing this, and I'll see you in a short while when I've got four soul jars finished from these guys. Well, I got both two sets of jars. Didn't actually take very long. Probably in real terms, and probably about fifty minutes or something like that. Um, I did enchant the thulium dagger. I actually got faster attack, and I got a sharpness four at the same time. Which is good. Uh, not too bad. Faster attack would be very. It's actually faster attack. Can't speak. Faster attack seven is very good. Yes, it happens. Um, anyway, 
So what we got is we got four Enderman soul jars here and four Wither skeleton. They're actually mixed up, and it's hard to tell the difference. So the next thing we're going to have to make some uh, seeds and things. So if, if I'm not mistaken, it's just like that. So we need these solium based seeds. So let's have a look at the uses of the Wither skeleton one in here so we need oh supremium so we need four supremium and we need four um i've got enough as it happens imperium essence and that should be enough to go and make this lot it's going to do it and then we get some fairly useful drops we'll get we'll be able to get with the skeleton heads uh, on demand as it were it won't take that long so here we are i haven't dismantled the cd yet since last time Let's put everything down, so get rid of all these things. With a skeleton, with a skeleton, with a skeleton, with a skeleton. So these go on the on the core on the non-ordinal positions. To missed, of course, because these don't stack. As as in every every seed you do from this mod so let's put these into the ordinal position now screaming essence that was a big flash of light I'm sure what caused that as it happens and we put the seed in the middle turn on the thing and let's get out of the way and we should get a wither skeleton there we go a wither skeleton seed tier five this is this will be a tier four seat because we've got four endermen let's get these out into position as well let's put the seat down first and in fact what we can also do is take the imperium essence at the same time and do that missed Oh, hello. We've got some friends visiting. So how does that happen? So we just get into some shield here. Because I haven't got my sword with me. <laughs> it's here. Right, where are they? I just have to... I just have to grind these guys. Oh, three. The phantoms are actually quite common at the moment. I tend to take a hit because I'm not good at fighting and I've got my glass shoes on so they can see which is actually not too bad get them under the trees it's, it's actually quite a good technique for grinding them I'm actually hoping to get a I don't know whether they have them in fact a spawn egg from Where's he gone to? Oh, he's up there. A phantom spawn egg. If they have them, we can get phantoms as well. On demand. Oh my goodness, another three. Tell you what, there's no point, no point in seeing this. I just will be back in a minute when... Or maybe not. <laughs> Hard to press the pause button at the same time as I'm doing this. Actually, I didn't do too badly then. I don't know how well I'm taking damage. Oh, another one. Could actually sort him out with the bow. There's more than one over there. You can't attack me there. Now I've got my glass slippers on, haven't I? Can't jump up with my glass slippers on. I'm back under this tree. Got him. Right, I think they're all done. <laughs> yes, good. So well, let's just take the seed off here. Oh, I must have bashed the plant as well. Plant that back again. Where did I put that? These sunflower bit beside the rose anyway. Of course it's night time. There are plenty of mobs around. So we can plant these seeds. All I'm going to do here is now to extend this area here a little bit. 
and I think we can simply put down yes we can look that one's growing no problem and being harvested let's just see if I've got my hoe in my bag I think I'm keeping some tools in here and I think I've got some tools in the white bag as well unfortunately the hoe isn't one of them I'm sure I kept the hoe out for that exact purpose anyway I'll be back in a second well I had the hoe on me the whole time <laughs> that was very careless of me right it's here so what I'm going to do now is going to make sure that these have got the appropriate fertilizer on them and uh, same with this one I've got to be careful to make sure I don't hit that plant maybe the best thing to do is to break the plant yes and then put these two in and then we need to just go downstairs and give the put the two new seeds in here so hopefully there's still room in this thing let me try again that's plenty of room Enderman seeds will go in here and then and also the weather skeleton seeds next thing we need to do is to come out here i think this may be i have to do that in on this one no just that's just the residue great Ooh, big flash of light so let's put those into the planter here um where's the, oh the planter's underneath isn't it oh i'll tell you what we'll just put them in the, the harvester they should all be taken out and planted but did i say harvester i meant plant plant gatherer that's right yes and there we go so now we can test this out we can get make it go fast with that magic watering can and then we should get two more of these essences oh yes they really look really cool don't they enderman ones look really like enderman and there we go again so this time we should have some in here we should have these two wither skeleton seeds oh the wrong one what did i just take out of there that one and that one's what i want oh it's less than it says did i pick up something else by mistake no i didn't good so all we have to do to finish it off is to come along here put these two these two products into here like this that's two and they will automatically be put into this system well, of course we need to put on another chest now um great <laughs> i'll do that i'll tell you what, i'll do that so i'll come back in a second well, there we are so look a quick look at these the uses of these by the way you can make and eyes of ender if i get to blaze essence and some blaze ender pearls with just that ender pearls i don't need so much at the moment maybe we should go for some of this one that's that one and the uses of this one we can make skulls with the proof glass uh with the proof blocks and what do we need there soul soul stone and soul glass that's not too difficult the rest of it, what was this one here blank skull okay that's a bone block that's no problem whatsoever soul dusk is no problem whatsoever we just need to get the cobble uh let's look at the recipe for that one is cooking s smooth soul stone which is basically soul stone which is cooked and cobble so stone double which you get from the nether in large displays as it happens so maybe i need to go back and do some of that so let's just uh get rid of those into there like that and these will slowly tick in as we as we need them so we will have a a supply of wither skeleton skulls plus of course we can get those from the attained drops well that's it for this episode i do hope you enjoyed it next time i'd quite like to start doing some uh, of the mod Forbidden on Arcanus. So until then, bye for now.